hi guys okay this might look familiar just because i'm filming two videos on the same day um but <laughs> i'm gonna be opening up another prada item um this is my second item that i bought from prada and yeah let's get into it Okay, you see the handle already, so maybe some of you guys can already guess what it is. It's the Prada Duet bag. So, I've actually been wanting a bucket bag for the longest time, and I've seen a couple and i just never could pull the plug um but i decided this was the perfect bucket bag to get um okay so obviously i chose the black with the gold hardware or gold accents i love this little compartment in the front let's see I just dropped all the authenticity cards. I feel like the zipper on this is a little bit um, smoother than the re-edition. But still not as smooth as like other brands that I'm used to. So... I might have to just put wax on this as well so the whole bag is pretty much nylon um, and it does have accents of their Safiano leather like on the handle right here and this is also Safiano leather on this and at the ends But I love the little detailing. So you can see it says Prada on there. So you can wear this as a crossbody and they do supply you with a very incredibly thin <laughs> Safiano leather strap. Um, it is adjustable. Oh, I'm just gonna adjust it real quick um, because I did try it on in store. And even on the, the sh like shortest length, it was so ridiculously long. So let's take a look. So this is a three piece strap that they have on here. So you can see here. You can pretty much unbuckle it here and this piece comes off and then there's this middle piece and then also an end piece. I'm just gonna take out all the filling. Get 
Okay, so huge con about this bag is um, the strap length. This thing is so long. Um, I even asked her if, you know, they would service the bag and put extra holes so that it would accommodate <laughs> how short I am, I guess. Um, but she was just like, you can actually bring it to a shoe repair store, um, like a cobbler, I think that's what they're called, and they would be able to punch extra holes. Um, I just hate that they don't have that service, I guess. Or also, okay, so the day that I bought this bag, I was wearing my Palm Springs Mini, and that has a black strap with also gold hardware. And she was telling me that I can just kind of swap out the um, strap and use this strap. So I'll show you real quick. Also, I don't like how thin these straps are. Um, when straps are this thin and you really pack your bag and it gets really heavy it just gives me like really bad shoulder pain so yeah i hate this strap like that was such a useless strap i feel like also another con is i don't like that this top handle um is not detachable like i just i feel like it would just make the bag so much more versatile if this top handle was detachable. But um, I don't hate it, uh, it's whatever. But I do like the option to wear a top handle if that's what I wanted. Okay, so this is with my Palm Springs mini strap. I guess you can kind of tuck this back a little bit um, to just kind of lean and you don't really see it if you're wearing it like this. Like I feel like this strap length is just so much more um, practical for me so I'll probably just use this strap with this. Um, why I haven't bought bucket bags from other brands is because you know how the bucket bag is like this like this is how it is just open and then you having to like pull um, in this area I feel like I never thought it would be a good idea to buy um, a different material for bucket bags just because the wear and tear so I know the um, Louis Vuitton Neo Noé, I believe it's called. I love like the look of that bag, but I've seen so many people tell me that they have issues with the canvas in this area because of what you're doing. Like this opening and closing and opening and closing. It, I don't know if it dried out the area, but it would have cracks in the canvas and once your canvas on a Louis Vuitton bag is damaged there's really nothing that they can do for like they can't repair that you know so um, I never pulled the plug to like buy one of those bags also same with leather I feel like this opening and closing it would just like just have so much like wear and tear on leather you know so I love that this is nylon it's very like durable but it's flexible so it's not going to be very damaged by opening and closing the bag um, so yeah I feel very happy with this purchase um, I think I got this for $13.90 um, and they just increased their price to I believe $14.90 USD I think it's just such a cute little bag And this can actually fit a good amount like i i feel like i didn't want like a bucket bag smaller than this because for a bucket bag i want it to be like a black hole like i want to be able to like go let's say hiking with this and be able to fit like a water bottle i'm gonna grab a water bottle so we can see if it fits it's perfect in there 
obviously it's gonna fit my phone like anything that i need i just also love how um like slouchy this looks because a lot of my bags are a little bit more structured but yeah very happy with this all right um i think that's all i have to talk about with this bag um if you have any questions let me know just leave them down below and i'll try to answer them okay bye guys